Hi everyone, in this video I will be introducing what multiple access is. So in the protocols we have described before that is stop and wait, selective repeat and everything else. They assume that they have a dedicated link. Dedicated link between sender and receiver okay so usually this is not the case as there can't be a dedicated link between every sender and receiver so there is always a common channel like you can assume for cellular phones the channel the medium channel you are using maybe the same as your neighbor is using and you are both talking on the same channel so the data link layer is divided into two parts first one is data link control And the second one is multiple access resolution. This data link control is responsible for flow and error control. and the second part multiple access resolution is responsible for resolving access to shared media that is having a common medium or shared medium so when nodes are connected like there are various stations and there is a single path and here is our receiver so there is no single paths between one to one mapping or all single path between sender and receiver there is a common channel so when nodes are connected using common channel so it becomes similar as to speaking in an assembly speaking in an assembly how as what is supposed to be ideal processor in ideal to be speaking assembly so what happens in an assembly that uh, two people do not speak at same time yeah this should be the ideal case so yeah two people should not speak at the same time and uh, yeah they should not interrupt one another one another yeah i am talking about the ideal assembly and they should not monopolize the discussion So it's like the same as two stations should not send at the same time. One station should not interrupt the sending of another station. And monopolize is like one sh station should not always be the one sending through the media and restricting the others to wait. So 
as this situation is similar with this there are some rules in an assembly and protocol should be followed to manage it people are given chance to speak and then another person speak so similar for multi point networks many formal protocols have been devised to handle access to a shared link see all these protocols exist because the link is shared if we have a dedicated link we could have used the previous ones so there are three types of categories in multiple access and the first one is random the protocols in this category are aloha then csma csma cd csma ca the second category is controlled and when this is reservation polling token passing channelization and it is frequency fdma tdma and cdma in the future videos we will be going through these protocols and i assure you they are pretty easy to understand so okay see you next time